As many of you who are subscribers, you're aware that this is basically a prepper-minded channel. And as such, we come under fire a lot from people who don't understand prepping or don't want to. And I just wanted to address a comment that gets put in the comment section on a lot of the videos quite often. And that is basically that there is no such thing as SHTF. That it will never happen, and it never has. Apparently, there are a lot of people out there that are so safe and secure, wherever they are, however they're living, in their own little world, wherever that may be, that are oblivious to the concept that SHTF situations have and do happen more often than they're aware of. To sit there and say that there has never been an SHTF situation and that preppers are prepping for no good reason whatsoever is to basically claim that there has never been anyone or any people displaced anywhere on earth. There's never been a war. There's never been a famine. There's never been a natural disaster that put people out of their homes or cut them off from supplies or utilities or took their lives. There's never been an earthquake or a hurricane or a fire or a flood. No one has ever had their property broken into while they were home and had to defend themselves or another family member. These things apparently have never happened in the entire history of the world. That is what you're suggesting when you say that there's no such thing as SHTF and how can you prepare for something that's never happened and never will. You see, most preppers are just people that want to be ready in case something bad happens. Every prepper doesn't think that a Texas-sized meteor is going to crash into the earth and wipe out 95% of the population. There are some who believe that that is a possibility, but not everybody is. Your average prepper is someone who lives in a hurricane zone and wants to keep extra food and water. Your average prepper is someone who lives maybe in the proximity of a volcano and wants to be prepared to get away from it in case something goes bad. Your average prepper is someone who lives in an earthquake zone and wants to be prepared for an emergency or a disaster. Your average prepper is someone who wants to be prepared for the possibility of an economic collapse. And this has happened all over the world, including the United States already. There have been economic collapses in the United States. I'd hate to bust your bubble. Go and look it up. The most obvious one being the Great Depression. These things do happen. And quite frankly, once upon a time, before World War II, almost everyone in the United States was a prepper. Almost everybody kept extra food and water put up had provisions for emergencies. After World War II, the government tried to move people away from that. And the only reason that they tried to move people away from it is so that they could maintain better control. That's the only explanation. So before you want to sit there and pick on preppers and tell them they're preparing for nothing because there's no such thing as SHTF, go turn on the news and just watch. How many times has someone's home been broken into? How many times has there been an earthquake or a fire? There's fires going on right now in California. There's earthquakes going on right now in California. And I'll tell you what, the preppers down there are faring a lot better than the average citizens. Maybe you're one of those people that think that the government's going to save you or going to fix the situation. Well, if you believe that, you haven't been paying attention at all. Because usually when the government gets involved, things tend to get a lot worse. So if you have any comments or suggestions pertaining to the video, if you want to go ahead and put it down in the comment section below, we'd appreciate it. We do try to answer as many of the comments as we can within reason. If you got anything out of the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the notifications button if you are a subscriber, because otherwise you'll never know when a video comes out because YouTube hates us they don't like any prepper channel, apparently. And as always, stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.